Hi everyone, this is Aparna, clinical psychologist at Mindful TMS Neurocare Bangalore and uh, today I'll be talking about grief and related aspects of it. So let's understand what is grief. So grief is a normal response or natural response to losing someone or something which are very much important to us. Now what happens, the term grief, bereavement or mourning are often used interchangeably. But however, they have different meanings related to it. So as I said that grief is a normal process, which is the reaction to a normal loss. Now bereavement is the period after a loss during which grief and mourning occurs. So basically bereavement is the state where grief and mourning occurs. Now what is mourning? Mourning is basically the out, outward way of expression and which is greatly which is greatly influenced by the cultural belief or, or let's say the, the rituals which are involved in it or the practices what we do when we lose someone. Now we may feel variety of emotions you know when we are going through grief like uh, crying or missing our loved ones or you know unable to fall asleep or facing difficulty with sleep then uh, lack of energy doesn't feel like doing anything or thinking about the loss that we are going through now now we can experience grief because of so many reasons like let's understand you know not, not just when we lose our loved ones but sometimes you know when we lose our job and a long lasting relationship that that gets over suddenly sometimes and then sometimes moving from one country to another country or you know sometimes shifting from one house to another house these can also lead to a lead to grief one more point you know which i would like to add here you know that people grieve when they go through with, with a chronic illness sometimes they start grieving before they lose you know someone whom, whom they, they are they, whom they are loving so this can occur even you know patient person who is suffering through the chronic illness now even research has shown that nearly 15 percent of all grief people you know they develop the complicated grief which can lead to other forms of mental health issues now let's understand what are the stages you know that that people go through when they are grieving so according to kubler ross she's a swiss American psychiatrist, she has spoken about the five stages of grief. Now, what are these five stages? The first stages that she has spoke, she has uh, spoken of about is denial. Like when we get to hear that you know we have lost someone, we immediately it, it's very normal to think you know that no, this isn't happening. You know, we may feel shocked. Uh, this is like you know no, it can't be true. So basically, it, it's one of uh, one of the defense mechanism that we are using. Now the second stage is anger. Now what happens as the reality sets in and you know we are faced with you know immense pain of loss. Now what happens we feel frustrated, we feel helpless and you know we, we just start, we just, we just don't know how to behave. So something you know just we, we just express it you know in an anger form. Now, this, now the third stage comes up which is the stage of bargaining. Now what happened during this stage, you know, we just dwell on what we could have done to prevent the loss or what we could have done to save our loved ones. Now the fourth stage, fourth stage is basically depression. Now the sadness sets in and we begin to understand the loss and, the, and its effects on our life. So then the depression starts. But again people do come out of it, but if not, then we need to seek professional help for this. Now the last stage which is acceptance. Now when I'm saying acceptance doesn't mean that the pain is over or that the loss is over. Basically we accept the reality of our loss and we understand that it can't be changed. Although we still feel sad and but we try to start move forward with it. So basically the point here is we don't move on from grief, we move forward with it. Now. One more point that I would like to add here is, you know, that reaching that acceptance doesn't mean that, you know, we are not going to remember the, the person whom we have lost. Because the sense of loss can last for decades. Like, for example, if we have lost 
our loved ones you know anything can trigger us at any point of time like like sometimes you know having having a food or or watching some movies or listening some music and again we can go back in the same stage back and forth so what happens what we can do to let's now let's understand what we can do to help a person so basically we need to make sure that you know we uh we have a open space where we can talk about you know this issues because you know unfortunately uh still you know uh, talking about death is is a taboo nobody wants to talk about death because people are scared of talking about it but actually having a supportive environment where we can talk about it where we can just express our feelings and concerns which will help us you know to deal with the grief to deal with the grieving process it is the more we hold on the grieving basically we are blocking our own progress so it's very important you know that to to talk about it or to feel you know come compassionate towards ourselves you know be try to be kind towards ourselves because it happens that you know people start feeling guilty people start blaming ourselves that you know we couldn't have our last conversation or, or we should have been there you know to do something else so if still if you feel that you know you are you are struggling with all these things you know where where you are just blaming yourself and if it if it it persisting you know more than 6 months then then what happens it can form into a depression or other various forms of mental health issues so if you feel that people around you who are who are struggling to come out of it or you if you yourself is able to associate any of these things with yourself please try to seek a professional help try to seek out to the to the mental health professionals you know where, where they can help you out in terms you know to to deal with your grieving process in an effective manner thank you so much